Making life worth living and retirement worth having is about the people in our lives. It's about the people who show up and then it's about the people who walk by and say nothing sometimes. Maybe it's just a chance greeting. Maybe it's a, a meet sweet. I can't remember what they used to call it, but openly it's that moment of time when you just need to see what does somebody look like today and how are they faring. I saw someone today that made the world a difference in my mind because it was an answer to a prayer that the Lord had promised me that if there was an opportunity that she would eventually show herself and she did and all I can do is do what the Lord bids and when I walked by it was one of the hardest things I've ever did I hopefully hope that uh, the place I was doesn't have a video of my reaction because I held it in as long as I could but in truth we have to make a life we have to find a wife who is the right one for us. And when I say things like this, I find someone editing my video footage, which is not their lawful right. I've not given up my rights to anyone to interfere with my life or to move someone to walk up to me in a steak and shake after I purchased a meal that legitimately I should have been able to have by myself without anyone knowing. And someone literally stepping in the front door and, and pompously, you know, calling at me across the way, did you eat? and then walking over and stepping into my personal space, making fun of something I've said about the personal space in probably one of my other videos, and literally saying, did you pay for it? Or something to that effect. And I literally said, yes, please step back here in my personal space. And he moved, oh, have a great night, and he left. And I thought, what kind of an arrogant ass does this? You know, I don't know that man at all. He looked like a yuppie, he looked like he could have been a movie star for all I know, but more likely he was a pompous policeman or someone in that line of work. Now why do I say that? Because I want to watch my video get edited illegally by someone doing it illicitly and immorally. And frankly, I don't care what people think what it looked like right now because I'm living life. I had a great day today. I spent literally from practically 8.30 I'm guessing when I got dropped off to almost 6.30 at night in and out of Target today. I had a lot of work to do, I had a lot of preparations to put together, I had a lot of research to do, and openly it was a good time. I learned a lot, and in that moment of time, that when the Lord said, I want you to turn left here, and I want you to go right here, I saw everything I ever wanted in my entire life. Because without that, I have nothing in this world. And that's how you know what a fortune is. The fortune of our lives is what shows up when we have nothing at all. And that's how you know that the Lord is in your life, that he's hearing your prayers, and he knows what you want most of all. Thanks for listening.